common isekai or in another world trope you can see displayed across any anime streaming site, but it also deconstructs it in a way that is immediately refreshing. It's so refreshing to see this episode rehashing the exact same plot as the previous one. Another hero is proven to be incompetent and another village is once again begging Naofumi to save them. It's so refreshing to see a light novel that is completely nonsensical, just like all the rest of them. Naofumi blames the nobles for losing his lowly waifu, when in reality, if it weren't for the nobles, he wouldn't have his lowly waifu. Basically, he should be thanking them and blame the dragon. It's so refreshing to see Naofumi getting a sudden power-up when one of his nakama is in danger. We haven't seen that in a while. It's so refreshing to see Naofumi having a dark power inside him which makes him uncontrollable. We haven't seen that in a while. It's so refreshing to see his nakama who was supposed to be dead being alive and well at the end, thus the whole thing being fake suspense. We haven't seen that in a while. It's so refreshing to see yet another protagonist who refuses to sleep with women, since the only way for a light novel hero to be good is to be impotent and a cynical introvert while being hated by everyone, not for a legit reason such as being impotent and an introvert, but just for the sake of having a victimized protagonist. We haven't seen that in a while. Still manages to be new and refreshing.